Hello there, I have this Canon camera here. The problem with this camera is that it won't turn on. And the battery is okay. I have a good battery here that has a good voltage on this, on it. And then I've tried to charge with my, my charger here. It is giving me, um, when I charge with my charger, it is charging normally. So the battery is not depleted. And if I check with my multimeter, just to be sure that I have good voltage on the battery, this battery is rated 7.2 volts. Hope you can pick it out on the camera. It is rated 7.2 volts. So if I test with my multimeter, I will still get my 7.2 volts or higher. That is to show you that the battery is okay and has not been depleted. So... Let's see what our multimeter, our battery is showing on the multimeter. You can see from the multimeter, it's giving us around 8.2 volts, which is a sign that this battery is still in good condition. All right, but the problem is that once I put in this battery into my camera, it doesn't turn on at all. You can see I put in my battery and I lock it. There is no sign that you can see it is on off on off no sign on the screen there's no sign on the screen on off on off no sign on the screen so how do i resolve this issue now the problem might not be from your camera itself your camera is still okay so let's go back and remove our battery so let's remove our battery and keep the camera aside. See, let's remove our battery. This is our battery. It is in good condition. But the problem is that this contact of, of this battery, it is not, it is not connecting to the other contact on the on the battery terminals of your camera. The contact here is not contacting the battery terminals of. You can see we have one to three terminals on. On the camera so the problem with this is that this contact here is not touching the terminals on the battery so how do you resolve this issue all right to be able to resolve this issue you're going to get a flat screwdriver like this you can see the tip of this screwdriver is flat or you can use any other metal device that you have but it has to be flat now you look at this contact over here this Contact over here is supposed to contact the metal terminals on this battery, which is not. And that is as a result of this battery sitting on that terminal for a very long time. So the terminals are now loose. It is not contacting the battery anymore. Normally, the terminals are supposed to be joined this way. Once it's joined this way, then your battery is supposed to go, your battery terminal is supposed to go in between them so that it will contact this. But because we've been using the battery for a very long time, so when the terminals on the battery sit this way, it has now been open like this. So the terminal easily go in between them without contacting any of the terminals on the battery. So which is what we have here. You can see the holes we have here. Look at the holes we have here. You can see, you can see um, them. Normally you're supposed to see all of this. Metal is supposed to be showing here because they are supposed to be joined together so that the terminals goes in between them. So what we are now going to do is to bring out the terminals, get a screwdriver. If your screwdriver is not flat enough to be able to go in between at the back of the terminal to be able to push it out a bit, you can make use of a needle. A needle can also work. So is this. You have, you're going to get your your a needle a needle but i have a safety pin in place of a needle so you can use a safety pin or a needle any of them would do now what you're going to do is to locate the terminals now the terminals are supposed to be visible the terminals on your batteries are supposed to be visible when it's visible you're sure that once you put it inside your camera the terminals will be able to go in between this make in between this hose here and make contact with the metal terminals so the reason why it is not turning on is because the terminal on this is not making contact with this 
So um, with my needle, I am going to just kindly push them out a bit. And the reason why it goes inside, it normally goes inside this way, is because if you it has been sitting on that terminal for a long time. So it has now gone, it is now loose or slacked back, which is not supposed to be so. Okay, so I am going to, you can see the metal, use it to push it out a bit. Okay, you can see now, this is now visible. It, it, it ought to be visible like this. So this is the positive side. You can see that it's not that visible. So I'm going to use the same method for, for this one also. I'm going to push it out this way. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use my safety pin to push out the the metal this way you can see that this is now visible this is visible also and this is the positive and the negative side which is the important part on this battery all right so i am going to go back into my camera and then i'm going to fix it and let's see what is going to happen now so this is the terminal i'm going to push in my battery you can see that it is on now my camera is on see camera is on and working the camera is on now so you can basically do whatever you want to do with your so my camera is now working all right so that is how you fix your camera if it is not turning on even after replacing the battery Thank you for watching. I'll see you some other time. So you fix it in this way. And you can see. So, so basically the problem with this is just the terminals on, on the terminals on the battery. It is now slack and it is not making contact with the terminals on your camera. So this is the problem, the terminals. Let me review the problem for you once more so that you're sure. You can see the terminals here are supposed to be visible so that once it goes in, it will make contact with the terminals on, on this the terminal. So you can see those three terminals, they are supposed to make contact with this. But once this becomes loose or becomes slack and it's no longer this way it's supposed to be this way almost touching each other so that once you put it into your camera the terminals of your camera will pass in between them while the terminals on your battery will still be making contact with them but once it is loose it becomes open this way and then when you slide um, sl slide in your battery into your camera the slots will go in between them but will not make contact with them so what we basically did was to add, align this in such a way that this it is now closer to each other so that once you put it in your camera the camera terminals will be able to go in between them and make contact with them and that will be able to power your camera so that is it folks thank you for watching i'll see you some other time